Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. I just forgot my intro. How can I forget my intro? Um, you know I'm sitting in the corner of my sofa with my nice tree from Ikea. So you know what video is about to come. It is the five month update post gastric sleeve. I do these um, every month, um, but the one that this is gonna be a little bit late just cause I've had so much on at the moment. So if, you, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, my name is Haz. Amongst other things, I also am documenting my gastric sleeve journey on YouTube. If you don't know what gastric sleeve surgery is, it's weight loss surgery. Um, I had this in Turkey in no on the 12th of November 2022 and I'm now officially five months. The first thing um, where we usually start the video is the actual progress in terms of weight loss. I've spoken about this particular weigh-in scale and app um, before. So it's called Active Era and you have an app like this and it's really good and it basically tracks um, all the trends for you. Um, and it's really, let me see if I can, so I mean, if you have a look at this, like it tracks like yearly, monthly, shows little charts like that. It's really, really good. So I'll try to link it on Amazon or put a link if I can find any. So guys, in terms of the actual um, weight loss itself, I am officially, uh, 26.4 kilos down this was exactly on the dot or a day after the five month mark you would have seen from other like pages or other channels there are people that lose a lot of weight drastically even though i think in my head it's slow i'm quite happy with the progress because i haven't had any um apart from hair loss which i'll get on to i haven't had any kind of like loose skin or anything like that any other major concerns um so i'm quite I'm, I'm i'm happy to be slow and steady slow and steady does win the race well, i started at exactly 100 on the dot um and i've seen people who my surgeons um performed on you know there's people who are like you know 30 40 50 kilos heavier than me and they're losing you know 50 kilos in the first five months so everybody's bodies are different so please don't compare the second um, thing that I wanted to touch on is the hair. Now, if you've seen any of my previous videos, um, you'll see that I was really, from the very beginning, I was always really, really concerned about my hair. Oh, my glasses are so dirty. Let me see. I've got new glasses, by the way. Mem chose them, guys. They're like Harry Potter glasses. I like them. Last month when I recorded my video, my hair was, it was, it was really, really affecting me. And to be honest, it does because hair has always been a big part of my personality and is the only thing that I never worried about. Like, you know, oh, how's my hair going to look? You know, it's, I've always had no issues with my hair. It's always the quickest thing to do for me. Part of my personality, part of how people remember me. I'm usually the girl with the curly hair. Um, so that's a big, big one. Now, touch wood um touch wood at the moment it stopped um it, very it's, it's still there the hair loss but it's very minimal like it's more so like, like what i'm used to from before i would say it's not much different to what my usual hair loss is like before surgery so i would say it's definitely slowed down if not stopped and i'm so grateful because when i was reading um about the sleeve and doing some research and speaking to surgeon and stuff and um, most people say that the hair loss is starts around three months and stops around the nine month mark so mine started three months and it, i would say it's kind of really really slowed down at the five month mark some people say it stops at the six month mark i'm hoping that's the case but to be honest guys i've probably lost um i would say about half my hair half my head of hair if not a little bit more at this point so what i'm doing is i'm having a big chop done um, and anyone with curly hair knows that it goes into shock when you cut it so i'm gonna cut cut my hair completely um give it a big chop and then when the hair loss has completely stopped and i'm sure of that towards the end of the year um, i'm thinking of getting curly hair extensions just for occasions when i don't feel comfortable because it's really affecting my self-confidence i'm not gonna lie but just when i'm going out i want to do something um then i'll do you know i'll just pop them in so if there is anybody that can recommend um any curl um curly extension specialists or 
anyone that I can speak to, then please let me know because obviously my hair is really curly. I mean, obviously whenever I come on camera, it's, it's wet. Again, I don't know if it's a coincidence that my hair slowed down and it's the other things that I've been doing, but I did mention something in my last video, which my mum has been doing for me. And in addition to using rosemary oil, my mum makes me this once a week. So in here, what she does is she boils, um, uh, rosemary from the garden so the one even the ones that you can buy from Tesco and chucks a couple of cloves and has it boiling for I think about an hour or so um, and then she makes me one of these and I keep it in the fridge so this is a fresh one it lasts to be honest it lasts longer than a week but she tells me not to use it for longer than that in addition to my rosemary oil just before I um, wash my hair, I do like a mask with the water. To be honest, guys, sometimes I use this when I'm styling my hair and I'm wetting my hair. I focus it on the roots. I really massage it into the scalp for at least 60 seconds all over my ends as well. And I don't know if it's this or the oil or because I'm doing so many things. But ever since I've been doing this and also in my last video, I showed you guys the Viviscal shampoo and conditioner. That is really good. Um, it could be that as well. Because um, the only two things I've been doing differently since last month in compared to this month is I've been using this and I've been using the Viviscal shampoo and conditioner. Everything else has been the same. The third thing I wanted to mention, guys, is probably um, about snacks because obviously that's my favourite topic. Um, I've got a new favourite snack, to be honest. It's something I've mentioned before. I obviously try to have as many protein snacks as I can. Some agree with me, some don't. The one I would have showed you guys this before, but of my go-to, usually this is a lunch meal rather than a snack for me, but is these sweet chilli chicken chunks. And I get these from... Um, asda these ones i'm usually an aldi girl but i do like certain i do go to asda for certain things so this is really nice and do you know how i have this i have this with um some like really low low calorie crackers or the beetroot crackers that um you can get you can buy and i have a little bit of light philadelphia and one of these on top and that would be like my lunch the second one is my absolute favorite and i love 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 beef jerky and my brother-in-law Hi, Morse, if you're watching. Um, he has started to make beef jerky in his air fryer. And if I show you guys, it's so good. I think this is only the second time that he's made it. Um, and he gets like really good quality, like beef or steak from Costco. And then he marinades them and he dries them out in the air fryer. And they are so, I don't know if you can see, but they're so, so good. So I was like, oh no, I don't want it, don't want it. And then now like I literally regret it because I've only got a little bit left. But this is great because if you know, beef jerky is quite pricey. Um, and obviously if you, where you can make something at home yourself, you're better off doing that. Sorry, my mouth is watering. Another thing that I wanted to mention is about eating out. I have been eating out, I would say, you know, after my three month mark, I'd start, I started eating out. But when I say eating out, like if I went out to eat, it would be long winded. I would focus on protein, like I wasn't ordering noodles and stuff like that. I've only started doing that very recently. And to be honest, there's not much point. So now when we go out as a family or if I go out with men, I don't order any food whatsoever. And I usually don't order a drink um, just because you have to, obviously you've got the 30 minute rule so you can't eat and drink at the same time. So usually if I was to have a drink, like I don't, uh, men doesn't really like to sit at restaurants for very long. He likes to eat and go. Um, whereas I'm quite the opposite. So it depends on how we're feeling and how busy we are. Like if we pop out to eat, um, we usually will be back in about an hour and a half, depending on where it is, if it's somewhere local. And, and what we find is, once I've had water, obviously I don't want to eat one, and two, we have to wait half an hour and we'd like to eat together. So what we typically do is, he's a big eater, so he'll order, a, we will order a main and a starter, um, and I'll just pinch from there to be honest um so if we go to wagamama's i will definitely not order my own even a kid's meal like i still can't even eat half of a kid's meal so um and i find that i like to pick little bits we went to a really nice place in shoreditch called fat hippo um we were just scrolling through tiktok and it came up and thought oh let's just spontaneous let's just go and it was so good and because of the location and stuff we thought oh, it was going to cost us a little bit but our bill was literally 35 pounds and we ordered 
Mem ordered quite a bit. He ordered burgers. We had two sides. He got drinks. Um, so it's great. <laughs> So, what's your verdict so far? Really nice. Yeah. Yeah, but I had one win. And it was like two or three of them that were thinking of love. So, I'm going to have a bite of a burger. Just a bite, and then I'm done. And then we're going to go have dessert later. Well, I'll have a spoon. You can still have it. But don't, nobody in the comments, food police, tries to hunt me down because they shouldn't be here. It's five months post, no one has been Because you can have everything. Exactly. Food police, stay away. So we've got the Homer Simpson burger. And I've got personal extra. And it had no chicken, so we got beef. So, and we got um not normal bacon, we got vegan bacon, which only cool. How do I do it babe? The food police are definitely gonna be out for me. However, where it's a bit more annoying is when you're out with friends um, and people are drinking and they're eating and you can't eat and drink at the same time some people just don't get it like even men but when we're out at restaurants sometimes he'll be like baby it's not going to kill you to have a sip you stick by the half an hour rule all the time but when you've done something for so long you get scared to do it i have done it where i've had something and if it gets stuck down my throat you know i will have a sip the thing that was scary is i went out um, a couple of weeks ago for a friend's birthday and I ordered um, a virgin mojito and I didn't read it properly and it had lemonade in it and when I had it I was like uh oh I'd already swallowed the sip and then I realized it was lemonade um, so I actually had a couple of sips and then I stopped maybe three or four sips um, obviously I know that you're not supposed to drink carbonated I know some people do I don't know what, what stage is but I don't have an interest in drinking carbonated drinks so um, you know that wasn't something else i tried and lastly guys um how i feel within myself um, again when i haven't seen people for a while they have noticed that there's a weight difference i feel lighter but i am concerned because i don't feel like i have lost that much weight to be honest um but i'm trying on clothes and they they don't fit and I can't even with belts and things it looks silly um, so what I'm doing now is I'm wearing a lot of my old clothes just because of my work attire I had a lot of like size 12 blazers and um, trousers and things like that my suits that I kept my pricey suits so I'm I've gone back into that but day-to-day -day outfits I've kept all my old stuff which I'm wearing so I think because I'm not actively going out trying on clothes um, I don't really see the difference that much but I think around the nine month mark, I want to start buying my clothes and stuff like that. But I'm still steadily losing weight every week. So I don't want to invest in all these nice bits of clothes and then, you know, not, um, not be able to wear them. We have uh, two close weddings of mine. So both of my sister-in-laws um, are getting married. Um, one is in June, Ison, hi. And the other one is in September, Gul, hello, if you're watching. And I've um, started to try on dresses for their um, weddings. But even though, you know, my sister-in-law's wedding is only six weeks away, you know, if I'm losing one and a half kilos or one kilo a week, um, that will be like six kilos which is I think a stone which 
so I've tried on dresses to see if I like it and I've had to send them back and then order the size below. I have been trying things that are size 10, which I can't believe because I haven't been a size 10 in a very long time. Um, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'm trying to think of new things um, to tell you guys, but at the moment it's just a bit slow and steady. I've got a lot going on personally as well. So um, it's having the time to eat properly and exercise and diet and things like that. Um, I'm still exercising, not as much as I'd like to, but, you know, yeah. So guys, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. Next month is a big one. It is my six month, it would be a six month update um, video in terms of progress. And what I'm thinking to do is I'm hoping to get Mem in the video and we do like a reaction to old photos, even though I'm only halfway, but obviously I, I anticipate to be 30 kilos down at that stage. And then we can look at some old photos. Um, I don't know if that's good to do at the end i'd like to do it i think halfway and um, but if there's anything else that you'd like to see please let me know thank you again for watching this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i look forward to seeing you in the next one take care